Um, you to- were you uh S- Scott had a question real quick about uh the dang it I messed up the photo. Uh let me pull that up cuz I've actually got a few new photos that I was going to share. Um he was curious on your rig right here that you've got were uh did you were y'all using Willie Pete's on these? Uh is that a Willie Pete or that's on your gear? That's a gas. Uh, that's g- uh okay. after Chuck Hine had been uh well killed by Willie Pete and uh, one day I went into the dispensary to, to get a win, uh, to get a bandage changed, and I saw some mount yards that had Willie Pete burns. It's the worst thing oh. I ever seen. So oh. I was kind of against carrying those. They were actually really best for marking because they would so instantly put the gray smoke out. <laughs> but uh, didn't believe in those things. What I was carrying there was was a, a gas canister. Uh, one of those gray with the red, uh, it's a gas grenade and, and we had gas masks. So, and I'll tell you from firsthand experience, gas masks are a no, no in the jungle. Uh, we had a contact on a previous mission and we threw gas and all that. And I could hear the bad guys coughing and sneezing and everything, but I had my mask on and then you know, it's like 100 degrees and it's 100% humidity. It's a jungle. And my mask kept fogging up and I couldn't even see. So it's like the worst thing you could have. If you're overheated, which you always are, and you're always sweating, uh, gas mask is no good. You just fog it all. It's worse than a diving mask. Uh, so anyway, th- we did carry gas, though, because if, if we had a firefight, and did our immediate action drill to separate us from the bad guys. That's a good thing to throw because without their having, ga- you know, you could either hear them if they got into the gas or it would make them flee. So it wasn't a bad weapon. Wow. So I carried a gas canister. And then sometimes when I got yanked out of a mission, I'd, I'd get rid of some of my stuff as the chopper would pull away. I'd be throwing grenades and, and gas, but Oh, this is on a, another operation. Uh, on the right is uh, is Eller. Can't remember his first name. We didn't. We didn't. Have a lot of Richard. Richard. Richard mm-hmm. Eller. Uh, he was a one zero of South Carolina, uh, replacing Charles Walker. And I went on a mission with him, and that that's of course that's me on the left. We all sweated off or camo we're soaking wet it's been raining for like well i'll tell you the longest i've ever been on the ground we always plan for five days i've never been on the ground more than three days and sometimes didn't even get on the ground or had to come right out uh shortly after uh setting foot on the lz um never knew but three days was my limit uh but three days in the rain that's what you look like and everything wow. is you're miserable but hey when you're in bad when you're in enemy territory you're not really thinking about your comfort you're not thinking about bugs and snakes but you're thinking about they say god created man colt made them equal so <laughs> he got some 18 year old north vietnamese with an ak that's that's pretty badass so yeah yeah. Is uh, it th- that's one of the uh, th- that's an early 203 right there before you got the 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 real original one, isn't it? Uh, is that the early model one? The early one was uh, I think an X or an XM 148, and uh, they were out for a short time, then they got replaced by the 203, which was nice. But the 148 had a weird trigger, about an inch and a half long with a very unsafe thing that a vine could catch uh, on the trigger. That's why I didn't like them. But uh, Ah. the the 203 was definitely a class act. I think they're still using them. Oh, yeah. We go down to the range and just shoot round after round until we got good. We could almost put them in a bucket. Uh, We were really good. Uh, Les Dover had told me that... uh, on one of his operations, his point man actually shot an NBA right in the sternum with his M79. So, yeah. Something wow. you're with. Even though you're firing indirect, you can get really good with them. 
So we used to go up to Leghorn and just shoot them over off the cliffs just just to screw around, just to keep the bad guys from sleeping. So, okay, this is in uh, Archie, West Virginia's team room. Coming in the door on the right is, uh, uh, starts with an H. Darn it. I've forgotten the names. You've given them to me, and I hate I didn't. Not Is it Heller or Ross? Ross? Yeah, that's Ross Hecker. Yeah, that's it. Coming in the door. On, he was on West Virginia. Uh, that's me in the middle and with my tan. And Stephen Troxel is sitting on the bed looking at something. And he was RT Hawaii with Dover. And then he was on the CRP 